More than 11 centuries ago, in 805 CE, in the region of Fergana, in today's Uzbekistan, a child was born. A child whose eyes would one day read the stars with unmatched clarity. His name was Al Fergani. From his youth, the sky wasn't just a ceiling, it was a map, a puzzle, a world waiting to be understood. He traveled through Khurasan, Baghdad, and Cairo, studying astronomy with a passion that pushed him beyond every limit of his time. But destiny had a bigger plan for him. Once he tasted the stars, he never stopped. He examined the movements of the planets, measured celestial spheres, and decoded the mechanics of the heavens. He wasn't just observing. He was calculating, refining, correcting errors that had survived since Ptolemy. His masterpiece, The Elements of Astronomy on the Celestial Motions, became one of the most important astronomical works of the Middle Ages. It shaped scientists in the Islamic world, and later in Europe, where it guided astronomers for centuries. His calculations of Earth's circumference helped build the foundations of modern astronomy. His work influenced scholars from Al-Zarqali to Copernicus himself, and when the Nile's floods threatened Egypt, it was al Ghani who designed the precise Nilometer, a device that measured the river's rise and protected millions of lives. al Ghani was more than an astronomer. He was the man who measured the heavens and brought order to the universe with mathematics. This is the stars of Islam, where every story shines.